Well, Indonesia's parliament has approved a bill to relocate the nation's capital. It will be moved from Jakarta to a site in East Kalimantan province on Borneo Island. Saiful Bahri Ismail with this report. The new state capital law provides a legal framework for the mega project. The law will stipulate how development of the capital will be funded and governed. It also outlines the establishment of an authority to govern the new capital. The leader of the authority will be appointed by President Joko Widodo. The move to the new capital seeks to bring more equitable economic development across Indonesia. The new center will be called Nusantara, which means archipelago locally. Mr. Widodo first announced the plan in 2019 but progress was delayed by the COVID-19 pandemic. The initial phase of construction will include the primary infrastructure, which is the presidential palace. This phase will also include the transfer of about 500,000 civil servants to the new capital. In 2024, the government is planning to commemorate the country's 79th Independence Day at the new capital. This is the same year in which Mr. Widodo is expected to leave office after two terms as president of Indonesia. There has been some pushback against the move. Critics say the law was rushed through with limited public consultation and environmental consideration. There are also questions whether moving the nation's administrative capital would actually help Jakarta solve its complex problems of chronic congestion, floods and air pollution. Other observers said pushing the relocation project at a time when the country is still suffering from the pandemic is not a wise decision, given the exorbitant associated cost of moving the capital city. The project is expected to cost 32 billion US dollars. The government will finance some 19% of the project, while the remainder is expected to come from foreign investors and the private sector. Sefubari Smile, CNA, Jakarta.